This Alexa Flash Briefing is sponsored by Team Automotive Group. Hello everyone from WAFB Channel 9. I'm Matt Williams with those Tuesday headlines. The first not Monday of the week. The sun's rising over South Louisiana as we lay this down right around the 730 half hour. It'll start to warm up a little bit. I tell you what though, it is a cold start. Another cold start here. We're going to give you a look at that in a quick minute. Want to give you a look at some of the headlines that you're going to be walking out to though on this Tuesday, including from our nation's capital. Uh, a funeral for the first woman ever to sit on the nation's highest court, the United States Supreme Court, Senator Day O'Connor, going to be laid to rest today. Uh, what you're seeing here yesterday, actually, this is a portrait of her at the Supreme Court building. She lay in repose there for a number of hours, giving folks the uh, the ability to come by, pay their respects. And actually, uh, we were we were talking about this earlier. Something that stands out about this picture for those who can actually see the video and aren't just maybe listening to this. It's a, it's a group of young people uh, walking by. Obviously, they're going to be there with their parents, but parents thought it was important enough to bring them by to maybe introduce folks to who she was and what she was able to do. But yeah, again, a funeral for the late Supreme Court Justice a little bit later on today in our nation's capital. Let's get you into South Louisiana, into Baton Rouge here. In fact, uh, an update on a shooting from last night, about 9 o'clock last night, deadly shooting being investigated by Baton Rouge police. Uh, the identity of the victim is the update that just coming in this morning. 57-year-old Jerome Saverin, police saying that he was, uh, he was found shot to death. You know where uh, Tamara and Tams Drive is? It's actually, this is Florida and Sherwood Forest neighborhood, just kind of north and east of that. That's where he was found. So again, identity known, age known, who shot and killed him, that's the unknown, and that's where you come in. Crime Stoppers at 344 Stop. Keep that number handy. East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office deputies trying to find whoever this guy is. And I know the, the picture is kind of blurry here. It's from surveillance video, and this is from back in December 8th, so a little bit earlier this month. What they say, uh, deputies, are, what they say is whoever this is actually stole from a vehicle, an unlocked vehicle, along Myrtle Bluff Drive. Again, this happened back on December 8th. They say he took a couple laptops and a backpack. If you know anything about that, same phone number to dial Crime Stoppers, or maybe you live in that area and have surveillance cameras yourself, maybe you caught something on camera that could help out make that phone call. Uh, and then there's this. Look, I, I guess if I buy a, a barbecue pit's got wheels on it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wheel it out kind of just like that, perhaps myself as well, but it's just, it's weird to look at this, funny, I don't know, in a way to look at this and, and realize that according to authorities, Walker Police, this guy didn't pay for it, just wheeled it on out of this. The Steins there in Walker, you know where that is? Apparently, whoever this is, stole this barbecue bit and then took off in a, a white van, either GMC, that they're thinking GMC, maybe Chevy, big white van. So, and actually, we have a couple of photos in this story, maybe a better one of him as well, and the van that they say he got into. So, uh, yeah, if uh, you see that barbecue pit kind of rolling around, Make a phone call, see if you can't help uh, investigators out. This has been one of the main stories, oh gosh, well, at least since 2016, right? Since the flood of 2016. Even before that, though, we all knew those who lived in the area that the co meet and the A meet needed to be de snagged here and uh, needed to be cleaned up, cleared up because it could pose flooding issues and flooding risks. 2016 happens and that just becomes exacerbated, right? It, the, the conversation picks up after the fact. The horses are out of the barn, so to speak. Everything's already been flooded, but now they are actually getting some of this done. Comey dredged, we've done those stories. Amy River, about 10,000 cubic yards of stuff taken out of there. It's just been amazing to see some of the work that they have done. 10,000 cubic yards of debris hauled out of there. Callie Hubbard was talking this morning with some of the folks involved with the project there, the ongoing project there, about what's been done, the hope of what it actually prevents uh, uh, down the line in the future here. But yeah, again, it is one of those, when you talk about flooding in South Louisiana, the Amy River comes up a lot, depending on obviously where you live. So Cali story right there, kind of laying out where we are now with the A meet. Want to let you know about this food box giveaway happening today uh, in Baton Rouge. It is the Greater Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church. You know where that is over on Victoria Drive? They're going to run it today from uh, starts at two o'clock, and they're going to run it until they run out of supplies. So again, food box giveaway over there, Great Mount, uh, Greater Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church. That is in, uh, uh, obviously right there on Victoria Drive. I want to get you out here uh, side one more time. Give you a look at what you're kind of walking out into as you uh, wake up this morning. The sun has uh, woken up, as it typically does, about this time, uh, for this time of year. 
And you're going to be walking out to some chilly temperatures. Let me give you a look at that. 36, 36 in Baton Rouge. My goodness. Again, this is just about 730 in the morning as we lay this video down. So depending on kind of when uh, you are seeing this or listening to it, uh, listening to it, it may have changed a little bit. That's kind of the idea. Nothing out there on radar. This is what the, the day is looking like on our way to maybe 60, maybe. So yeah, it's going to be kind of a chilly day for our South Louisiana blood. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday looking pretty good. You see when that rain shows up just in time for the, the holiday weekend. We'll get you ready for that as it becomes a, a, you know, as it gets a little bit closer. In the meantime, grab a coat, enjoy the nice day. We'll see you next time. Sponsored by Team Automotive Group.